Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon. Art OP's Kyle Richards says, there's more to the story regarding fallout with Dorit Kemsley. Kyle Richards recently shared some insight into her feud with Dorit Kemsley, and sadly this friendship might be over for good. We saw the former friends in a heated altercation during the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills season 13 reunion, but the pair have yet to resolve their issues. The feud continued while filming season 14 and is still ongoing. Dorit recently explained her mindset going into the season, noting that she was done being a pushover. The mom of two didn't go into details regarding her issues with Kyle, but the OG had no problem explaining how things went wrong between them. According to Kyle, there's more to the story than viewers saw on the show, and she shared more details in a recent interview. Kyle Richards gives more insight into her fallout with Dorit Kemsley. We know some of the backstory behind Kyle and Dorit's feud, as the pair became distant when Kyle started hanging out with Morgan Wade. However, during a chat with Housewives Nightcap, the RHOB star gave more insight into their fallout, noting that a few things happened at BravoCon that she didn't like. When asked about Mauricio Lumansky during their time apart, Kyle recalled an instance that brought her close to tears. However, Dorit made some comment like, oh, she doesn't really care. She just turns it on, and that really bothered me, admitted Kyle. How good of a friend can you be to me if you not only think that but would say that? Another incident that upset Kyle at BravoCon occurred when someone commented on their friend Teddy Mellencamp. Kyle said she and Erica Jane defended Teddy, but Dorit said nothing. I thought, okay, well now you're showing me more of your character by not sticking up for our friend, reasoned Kyle. She continued, it was just a number of things, and I was just at a point in my life where I only have room for people that are my true friends right now. Kyle and Dorit's RHOBH feud has been brewing since season 13. In case you need a refresher, things got tense between Kyle and Dorit in season 13 as rumors swirled about the 55-year-old's alleged romance with Morgan Wade. That RHOBA star wasn't too happy with Dorit's comments about her and Morgan during filming, and she distanced herself from the Beverly Beach star. However, when Kyle contacted her days before they were set to film the season 13 reunion, Dorit accused her of being manipulative. Dorit also leaked Kyle's text, a further act of betrayal for the OG. Kyle Richards didn't seem ready to tell everything, but her words rang heavy in the room. As the cameras rolled on season 14 of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, the tension between her and Dorit Kemsley felt almost cinematic. The feud between them seemed to grow day by day, each side firmly believing the other was more to blame. But Kyle, with her characteristic grace and candor, made it clear that the audience wasn't seeing the whole picture. There's more to the story, Kyle teased in an interview, her eyes narrowing just enough to leave viewers guessing. Dorit and I have been through a lot, but this, this isn't just a simple misunderstanding. Dorit Kemsley, meanwhile, had held her ground. Known for her polished exterior and blunt opinions, she was hardly someone who would back down easily. I'm tired of pretending everything's perfect for the cameras. Dorit had confided to her husband, PK, during one tense dinner scene. Kyle's acting like I betrayed her, but it's not that black and white. PK nodded sympathetically, but even he didn't seem to fully grasp the depths of the tension between the two women. The fallout, friends, fame, and fault lines. The roots of their discord traced back to what should have been an ordinary cast dinner in Malibu. During a heated exchange, Kyle questioned Dorit's loyalty. To an outsider, it may have looked trivial, a passing comment about who supported whom at a recent charity event. But to Kyle, it was a sign that Dorit was no longer the friend she once trusted. Dorit felt blindsided, insisting that her support for Kyle had never wavered. The dispute seemed trivial, but both women knew it pointed to something larger, a crack in their bond that had been forming long before this public argument. In her confessional, Kyle admitted, with Dorit, it's not just what she says, but what she doesn't say. There have been moments where I needed her and she wasn't there. And when you're close like sisters, you start to notice those absences. The fallout sent shockwaves through their tight-knit group of friends. Sutton Strack, caught in the crossfire, struggled to remain neutral, though she had her own suspicions about the origins of the rift. I think there's something deeper going on, Sutton whispered to Garcelle Bovaz over drinks one afternoon. 
Maybe it's about loyalty, but maybe it's about their need to be seen in a certain light, you know? Kyle has always wanted to be the glue that holds us all together, and maybe Dorit isn't comfortable with that anymore. Beyond the spotlight, a fractured trust. According to Kyle, it wasn't just about loyalty on screen, it was about loyalty off screen too. She had confided in Dorit about her struggles with Mauricio, sharing details of their marital issues that she hadn't shared with the other women. There are things I told her in private, and when you're close like that you expect a certain level of trust, Kyle explained. She hinted that Dorit might have shared some of that information, though she was careful not to reveal too much. I won't get into specifics, but when you trust someone with your heart, and they don't protect it the way you would, it changes things. The question of whether Dorit had crossed a line became a point of fascination for fans. Was Dorit guilty of spreading rumors, or was she simply reacting to an unspoken tension that had been simmering for months? Regardless, it was clear that Kyle felt betrayed on a personal level that extended beyond reality TV drama. Dorit's defense. Misunderstood intentions. Dorit, on the other hand, insisted that Kyle had misread her intentions. I'm not the villain here, she protested in a tear-filled confessional. Kyle and I have always been close, but that doesn't mean I have to agree with everything she says or does. Just because I wasn't there at every moment doesn't mean I didn't care. For Dorit, the real issue was Kyle's need for control. Kyle has this way of expecting loyalty, but only on her terms, Dorit explained, her voice steady but emotional. If I question her, she sees it as betrayal, but in reality, I'm just being honest. Her words hit a nerve, shedding light on an aspect of their friendship that fans rarely saw. Dorit was tired of living in Kyle's shadow, of always being the friend who followed along. For once, she wanted her own voice to be heard, even if that meant pushing back against someone as beloved as Kyle. Revelations and Reconciliations As the season wore on, the cracks in their friendship became more visible. At one point, the two women sat down for an emotional one-on-one -on -one conversation at Kyle's house. It was a quiet scene far removed from the chaos of their usual group dinners, but it held a gravity that neither woman could ignore. Kyle, eyes misting over, said, I just don't understand why you didn't support me when I needed you most. Dorit sighed, taking a deep breath before responding. I've always supported you, Kyle, but maybe we see support differently. I can't be what you need me to be if I'm not allowed to be myself. The words hung in the air, a bittersweet admission of their conflicting expectations. Kyle wasn't prepared to let go, but she knew that their friendship could never return to what it once was. They embraced, but both knew it was a tentative peace, one that might unravel the moment another crisis hit. In the public eye, keeping up appearances. Their uneasy truce didn't go unnoticed by fans, who speculated wildly about what might have really happened between the two friends. Theories ranged from financial disputes to accusations of jealousy, each more outlandish than the last, but Kyle remained tight-lipped, determined to keep the true reason behind their falla private. For her part, Dorit was equally guarded, though she hinted in interviews that her relationship with Kyle had been challenging. We're both strong personalities and sometimes that's not easy to balance, she said with a knowing smile. Still, both women seemed reluctant to walk away completely. The bond they shared was genuine, if flawed, and neither could quite bring herself to let go. What comes next? A friendship reconsidered. As the season drew to a close, the question of Kyle and Dorit's friendship lingered. Had they reached a point of no return, or was there hope for reconciliation? For now, both seemed content to keep their relationship at arm's length, cautiously navigating a new dynamic that was less about loyalty and more about respect. In a final confessional, Kyle looked directly into the camera, her expression a mix of sadness and resolve. Friendships change, and sometimes you have to let go of the person you thought you knew, she said, her voice steady. But that doesn't mean you stop caring. Dorit, in her own closing words, echoed Kyle's sentiment with a quiet strength. We've been through too much to let it all go, she admitted, eyes glistening. But maybe it's time we start seeing each other as we are, not as we want each other to be. The season ended with their friendship in limbo, leaving fans to wonder if this was truly the end, or just the beginning of a new chapter in the saga of Kyle and Dorit.